Hey guys, and welcome to a video on how to make lightsabers glow. So, I've already made a video about this in the past, although that was about two years ago, so therefore it obviously doesn't count. So a lot of you guys have been asking, how do I make my lightsabers glow in my stop motions? Like, how to make a picture simply look like if it loads like this. Like, look how awesome that looks. There's real lightsabers, not really. Um, so like, main question was from Rex, Rex Films, um, and he was wondering how I did it, and so, yeah, I said I'll do a tutorial, because why not? Also, the program that you will be needing is GIMP, uh, link is in the description, I'll put it in this description, it's also in this description right here, just download that, and then boost it up, and then you're ready to go, and you can just follow along with me, whatever I'm doing here. So, I just took a picture of Darth Vader, it's very dusty. Kind of. I don't know. There's a hair right here. As you see, I was not prepared. But it doesn't matter because we're going to make this thing glow. So, what you want to do is do layer, new layer. Make sure it's on transparency because that's very important. Do OK. And now we're going to be grabbing our lasso tool. Go to the color that you need for your glow, which is going to be red. And then you do control and then do your scroll wheel and you scroll forward and then you just start selecting by scroll wheel I mean just like zoom in on like the scroll wheel of your mouse although if you have like a mouse pad then just like zoom in or something or if you can't really do that then just do this and then zoom in like that but once you select all of this like so It'll have this weird black and white dotty thingy. Then you just grab your paint bucket tool, do that, ka -chow. And then you, instead of doing layer, new layer, you can just do shift control N, which I tend to do a lot. And make sure that this thing is still selected. And also make sure that this layer is on transparency. And then switch to the white and click on it. And then you can do shift control A, which will deselect it all. Or if I just do control Z here real quick, you can do select none. So once you do that, go over here, right click on your layer, duplicate layer. And then go on the bottom layer. I tend to make the bottom layer a bigger glow than the one on top. And so I just use this little crosshair thing to find where my glow is. By the way, I meant to say do filters, blur, Gaussian blur before I start doing all of this. And then it really depends on the size of your picture. For this, I would say about 500 for the bottom layer. And then once that loads, it already kind of looks like a lightsaber. So then you want to grab your second red layer or whatever your color of your glow is and then do Gaussian blur again. And then I just tend to make this about half of the same size as the first one was, although I don't want to make it exactly half, so I'm just gonna do like 280 or I tend to do like 300 or something but once that it's done see there you go but it looks like it's just white and then red but I want to make it so that the white looks like it's going into the red so then I'm also going to duplicate my white layer and then do filters blur Gaussian blur and then I tend to make this one about 50 to 70 so I'm just going to do 60 by doing that and then click OK and uh, that looks kind of small I'm just going to do control Z um, it really depends on how close the lightsaber is on the to the picture so maybe about this one I would do 90 yeah that looks good yeah I think that looks cool but we're still not done yet because it looks like the white's just sticking out and so we need to click on this layer do filters blur Gaussian blur I normally do a five so there you go also I just thought of something a few moments later yeah I just made Darth Vader's buttons glow cuz I'm bored and I have nothing else to do but anyways once you're done with your picture by doing this, doing all of your crazy awesome lightsaber effects, you want to go over here, do File, Overwrite, and then you can go to Export. Okay, before I click this though, I am going to show you this. 
see how the picture right here is still the same as so but then once we click export oh <gasps> whoa magic's happening oh <gasps> load faster there we go look at Darth Vader he looks so cool Darth Vader right, can I can I be your biggest fan why is there blue in your eyeball I have no idea but anyways hope you guys enjoyed by the way I would not mind for stop motion suggestions and also, I hope you guys learned something on how to make lightsabers glue. But anyways, love you all. Hope you have a nice, amazing, safe, and beautiful day. Good Goodbye, everybody.